the Senate and House Judiciary Conference Committee on Senate Bill 286 will come to order. Last that we gathered and convened, we had a proposal from the Senate, was an offer made to the House to, um, the offer was section six of the bill, page nine, um, section six was the offer, and uh, the thought process was that's a provision that the parties have long-standing agreement on, the parties being the House and the Senate, it's current law, and section six extends the provisions for businesses to be immune from liability in a civil action for a COVID-19 claim if they if the business was acting pursuant to and in substantial compliance with public health directives applicable to the activity giving rise to the cause of action, when the cause of action accrued. So it's a piece that um, is uh, has been in place since, uh, don't recall when it started, but it has been enacted in law for a couple of years now for the business community. So we had other areas of the bill that the chamber leadership of both chambers, my understanding was, wasn't able to work out agreement on. So the Senate leadership position, the offer was to make that offer section six of the bill. And while we, as the Senate position is um, to let's move forward on what we agree on and get that in place and the rest uh, Senate leadership position is, again, let's keep it open for discussion, the other pieces of the bill, and see where we can work out on that. So I think then the Senate, or excuse me, the House has had some opportunity to discuss the Senate offer, and uh, you may still be looking at it, or you have some response for us. Yes, Madam Chair, uh, we are still looking at this. We appreciate um, the offer that maybe gets us through this logjam and tries to come up with something we can we can agree on. Uh, certainly, and I think this goes for both sides, we think it's really important that the, the protections that are there for our hospitals, our, our nursing homes, those frontline workers that have gotten to us to this point. There's other things in the bill, uh, telemedicine, the, the number of beds that our critical access hospitals can have, some temporary licensure that the Board of Healing Arts has. And so there's lots of critical pieces in 286 that we're not comfortable just setting aside. Um, and, and we've yet to come up with a solution that can allow the business piece to move forward and not the others. We've been having discussions, we've been talking to the stakeholders, seeing if there's something we can come up with, but we've not gotten there yet. And so at this point in time, we don't have a counter. Uh, we're not willing to accept the Senate's offer. I'm not saying we're rejecting it yet, uh, but we want those conversations to continue, continue happening. And if we could continue those discussions, sleep on this, maybe we wake up in the morning with better ideas that we can come back and talk about. Thank you for the update on where the House is on this issue. And just so the Senate has a clear understanding, the House isn't in a position today to agree on Section 6, which today we could get agreement on and move forward on the business liability piece, which is section six. Well, we certainly agree with the position of, of the Senate that section six is important. But as you know, when we get to this point in the session, it's often, what do you have to put in a bundle to get something maybe somebody doesn't like to get them to agree to it. And so we think a bundle might be the best option to get something passed uh, that gives everybody protections that we think is important. So that's why we're not agreeable to just pulling one piece out quite yet until we can figure out how we can get those others across the line. Well, the Senate position is, Senate leadership's position is we can do Section 6 today, get that in place for our business community, and still keep the discussion going on those areas where we don't quite have agreement on the specific language, though we um, want to continue those discussions. So just to be clear, the Senate's position is we're ready to move forward with Section 6 and continue discussion on the other subjects. And our position is, we appreciate your position, but we're not willing to move forward with one aspect of it without the others yet. Well, then we understand the House position and Senate leadership needs to talk with House leadership and come to some agreement that we can 
move forward on and I will ask Senate leadership to do that. And then uh, this position that we have today is um, where we stand. The Senate offer is still there from Senate leadership uh, presented in this conference committee. And until we talk again, we will expect that the chamber's leadership uh, for the House and Senate will be talking with each other. And given that, then we do have session tomorrow, both chambers do at 10 a.m. And to give the chamber leadership of each chamber an opportunity to speak with each other, I'm going to suggest that, uh, and it's likely we can get done with Senate business that starts at 10 a.m., we can get done by 11. So I'm going to then, um, I'm not adjourning at this moment, but we're setting our next meeting then for 11 o'clock tomorrow. And we will get a room. It will probably be this room, most likely. And then we are now adjourned until 11 a.m. tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.